Um, advice to wear a mask. If you feel like wearing a mask, if you're more comfortable wearing a mask, please do feel free to do so. Uh, table services, you're aware, doing stairs, uh, right doing your, your order and raise your hand. Upstairs is slightly different. Go through and across the mezzanine and doing to the bar for there. Pretty much housekeeping, if you'd be, please switch off uh, your mobile fire drill. So if the alarm does go off, please just follow the instruction for the Muriel staff. Uh, we're in for a fantastic night, uh, very, very music, and we'd like to start it off with the Shetland Heritage Fiddlers. Thank you. So we're, um, we're missing them, uh, and I would also like to say um, we've had a lot of players over the years that's for the band for, or the group for, about 40 years ago. We didn't all play with the group 40 years ago, I must admit, although some of us is maybe near in that age. Uh, that we could The second tune we're going to play is called Silent Spring, um, and it was written by um, a man from Northumberland called Ian Scott, who I comes to the Accordion Fiddle Festival very often, and plays the accordion. And this was a tune that he wrote when um, the foot and mouth disease thing was on. They had a lot of help in the Northumberland area, and it was very, very quiet, he found. And it's been a bit like that this last couple of spring times. We've not had any folk festival shenanigans, so it's been a silent spring for us all too, but this is a tune for, by Ian Scott.
Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to carry on with three tunes, all written by local ladies, and uh, they've written some great tunes for by these three. So the first one was written for Tune Burns by Pauline Wiseman here, called The Tune for June. And the second one was written by Jenny Henry, and it's called The Hosts and Hostesses of the Central School. And the third one was written by Debbie Scott, called uh, Jig for Francis. Thank you. I would like you all to compliment him on his choice of Gansey tonight. 
He's done it specially to coordinate with every one of us. He's got a strength to match each one, so we're very, very proud of him. He's come just a long way over the years. Just when I thought I was going to get a chance to speak. <laughs> I should, I should get better. But no, I'm actually dedicating wearing this jumper to uh, the uh, get banjo player at East Point. There's a sadly passed away well last year. He uh, last appeared on this stage wearing a very similar garment. So that's Cody for East Pointers. We can have a round of applause for him. Thank you. So I always, I always like to tell a joke before I introduce the set. Um, some of them I've thought were maybe a bit too risky for his online carry-on. <laughs> but I was going to... The first thing I thought of was, what happens to bad rainbows since I've got a rainbow-coloured jumper on? They go to prism. <laughs> but anyway, I thought instead of telling a very bad joke, I thought I would tell you a pretty poem in dialect that I learned at primary school. <laughs> so... Here we go. Pirimus, Pirimus, where's to been? I'm been the bressa, where the mit is lean. Pirimus, Pirimus, what say you dare? Mere cats, then I lippened, so I'm going nae mere. <laughs> Do looks like he's hiding up a yellow card to me under. He's just, just wanting to get the drink. So anyway, what we're going to play next we get the sexual set. Um, first tune is Tully Plump, and the second one is Come Awa In, which was written by Tammy Anderson for the very first ever folk festival way back in 1980. And the last set is Uten in the Harbour, which it's about going in and out of the harbour. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy your festival, folks. Um, we couldn't let the heritage go by without playing 
Um, one of the tunes that we've, we've always played throughout our heritage days, and it's um, a tune that was written by our, our founder and leader, um, Dr. Tom Anderson, and it's probably the tune that he's missed Will Kent for. It's the Slock at Light. Um, now, Tammy, he wrote this tune when he returned to Aishness, no long after his, um, his wife Babs had passed away. And he was um, looking out over the landscape um, that was being very familiar to him as a boy. And he was thinking about all the folk that he kent as a boy and all the lights that had been on in Hussus that were, were no longer inhabited. So he carried this tune, The Slock at Light. The light's gone out. Um, and Shina Pugh is a poet who um, lives here in Shetland. And she wrote a fantastic poem that we think really captures the, the story of Hinton. So, the last of
to the SEM Festival. <laughs> Join the fourth video. Support greatly. We'll be back with you in a couple of minutes. Thank you. just look for the car that's parked stationary and the whole family looking out to sea. They're probably looking for whales. We're really fortunate in Shetland to get the, the number of, of different species of cetacean.
we can reliably see killer whales pretty much throughout the year, particularly June, July, August. There are many times when you'll invest hours into it and, and actually have very little to show. And there are other days where you get an alert to say there's a humpback whale less than a kilometre from your house. That is fantastic. Yesterday was one of those. how close you can actually get. You can have some really and then thought, I wonder what it thinks when it sees me. And it makes you feel quite special actually, it's really cool, it's really, really neat. stunning natural environment 
dynamic modern economy, and safe, welcoming communities offer an abundance of opportunities for all those who choose these beautiful islands as a place to live, work, study, visit, or invest. Still bursting with untapped potential, Shetland is ready to prosper far into the future. This is our time to make our mark. Shetland. Islands of Opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a treat for you here. Tonight we have Shet the overall Shetland Young Fiddler of the Year, Yelena Anderson.
Thank you. You almost a trad set that I played at the Young Fiddler, so the first tune was the Unt Bridal March, and then I get into Magia Ham, and then the Fuller Reel. And now I'm going to play my open set, and that's Pauline's Country by David Key, and then Tune for Lucas by Kevin Henderson, and then the last tune is The Chief by David Scott. And thank you to the Folk Fest for inviting me to play. <laughs>
And supported by the brilliant Kirsten Henry. Um, we're just going to do a quick changeover and we'll be back with the next set. Winglet means thin and bendy. And as a jeweler, when I'm creating pieces, uh, you often want them to be delicate, but you don't want them to be thin and bendy because obviously it's going to break. Um, Portionless, I would use it to mean a bit handless, like to no be able to do something the way that you would like to be able to do it. I love the word portionless because I think at different times we can all be a bit portionless, like you're trying to hide and again put in a screw in your chest, making a mock of it, you're stripping the thread or you're. Um, some days if you're just having a bad day at your work, everything is kind of no quite going right and so you're feeling a bit portionless. Um, and I think sometimes it just seems to describe um, the way that you are that day in a way that you canna we any other word. Ah, just being portionless. Miracle. I would use this to describe um, somebody that gets injured or a view. You might miracle yourself or somebody else might be miracled. I love the word miracle because it's nearly a pretty bit um, comedy, I suppose. I could just see arms and legs going and somebody miracling themselves. Um, I mean, it does mean to maybe hurt yourself fairly badly, so that's no maybe very funny, but um, miracle, it's kind of soon comedy nearly, but you might use it if you're, I reckon if you're out. So it means being out drinking and they're, um, they might miracle themselves because they're full of drink, or you might just trip and fire and miracle yourself. Um, but yeah, it's when that is fairly descriptive, I think. Prol. I would use this to describe uh, things, items, uh, sometimes precious. Prol, even just, I like saying it, prol. <laughs> I feel like you put on a funny prol. Uh, but I just love the sound of it. I love how it how it comes out of your mouth. So if you gather prol about you, you're gathering stuff and things and items. I might even use it as I'm going out the door. I had to gather me prol before I left the house. So you'd need your watch, your wallet, your um, phone, keys, um, your prol before you leave. Skirt. It means your um, in a boot you, your bosom, I suppose, in your, tacking it in your skirt. Um, again, a lot of them is how they sound. I like saying them, and skirt is a good one. If I maybe got a lot of prull <laughs> to carry, I might gather it in my skirt, and so it's kind of like um, in this space, I suppose. Or you might take something in your skirt. So if you're gonna give something a mokobozi, then you might tack them in your skirt. So yeah, that's a good in, I think.
get it then. Oh, okay, everybody. So just go for that. It's fine. Okay, I'll bring it. On to our next, <laughs> next act tonight. And I, um, I'm pretty sure, I don't know what I've done, but I've obviously annoyed somebody when it's come to um, deciding who's comparing, because this is the second time I've had to deal with this pair today. <laughs> the first time was back at the club and I was trying to introduce them and then Brian started filming me for some reason to this day. <laughs> so, uh, for all that, they were brilliant and they always are brilliant. So, uh, welcome to uh, Saltfish 40. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Love you too. Yeah, it's just lovely to be here. Oh man, you don't care how much it means to us to be here. It's just great. Thank you very much for having us. And I apologise for anything that Brian gets to up to this weekend. <laughs> anyway, we'll plot our own. Here's one for Monday morning. <laughs> My throat's so dry and itching for a cup Of what I need most Oh well it's so early I need some tea and toast Well have you ever had a feeling When you wake up on the ceiling Can't believe it's morning Cause you just stay down head You feel so bad Somebody tell me what I had well, it's so early, I need some tea and toast. Do you know, I'm, I'm not actually sure that me, me host for the, the weekend is much of a fan of the band. Because <laughs> um, that, that song has kind of been about for uh, coming on 20 odd years now, and there's no blooming tea in his kitchen. <laughs> Thankfully, I emptied the pretty complimentary tray in the ferry, so <laughs> we were all right. Clap. Again, there's been things
Whew. All right. Well, we found it this afternoon at um, another place we played at. <laughs> it, was, it was Islesborough. Uh, we found out that you, you don't do blackenings in Shetland, um, which is the subject of the, the next song. Um, a blackening is where, and I think maybe, maybe bits of the northeast of Scotland too, where the, the rider groom gets ambushed by their pals, <laughs> covered in molasses and feathers and breakfast cereal and <laughs> just all manner of horror. And then in our either paraded around Kirkwall up and down by the cathedral uh, in a pickup, <laughs> while folk kind of hit on the side it with sticks and chant and stuff. <laughs> and then, and then after they've been around a few times, they tack them and they tie them to the market cross with <laughs> shrink wrap. <laughs> oh, and then all the tourists get a photo of them and stuff, and they drive off and leave them. And then they come back and pick them up and tack them and throw them in the basin. Um, I'm not really sure what it symbolises. <laughs> but it's a hell of a laugh. Um, and yeah, so this is, this is a song about it. together, clung to the cross, caught in a cling film love affair, feathers and flower, sticks and copper bark, round the cathedral carousel, their gobble assay. Pick up red and yellow tents. Oh, mighty, mighty, hear them roar. Feathers and flower, sticks and copper bag, round the cathedral carousel.
appreciate you having a week. Uh, so back in the late 60s, so maybe had it here as well, the British Legion, I can't mind I wasn't here, but uh, um, the, the British Legion sponsored kind of local parish beauty queens. Anyway, in the island that Ramfe, that my mother was born and brought up in, um, she was one of the finalists in the island. Anyway, she won it. She did, yep. Where do you think I get me good looks for? <laughs> anyway, it turned out later that uh, most of the votes had been put in by my dad. <laughs> but that was, um, that was the last ever year they did that, so she is still the reigning last Queen of Bury.
Thanks very much. Um, I'm sure any musicians here will... Are you, are you waving? I thought you were waving to me. You? <laughs> do, you get, do you get a drink if you do that? <laughs> I, I don't think it works, boy. <laughs> uh, I was saying the, the, the musicians out there, you, you'll ken that if you're, you know, sometimes you need your music and all. Uh, we're doing a lot of new stuff tonight, and uh, I have a, a, a cheat sheet that I've, uh, I've kind of got at my feet, you can, to, to keep me right. Except I don't have it at my feet, <laughs> because I've left it lying upstairs. <laughs> and I only realised when we were getting introduced, so... Anyway, this, this next one is the, is the big test, really, because it's the song I don't really ken the lyrics for yet. <laughs> but it's no me song, so um, it's Ivan Draver's song. Um, of course, Ivan might be listening. Sorry, Ivan, if you're, if you're listening. It's a song about a pirate, Fiorni, um, called uh, John Gow, and uh, what he got up to, and how he got his comeuppance. So as long as I kind of start at that point and end at the other point, I'll, I'll get the story across. <laughs> but I'm not sure if the words will be in the right order or indeed partly mumbled. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so this is the ballad of um, um, Pirate Gow. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> and on the internet too, eh? The words are likely on the internet. Can we make that work? <laughs> <laughs> no. Just do the, the drunken pirate verse and you'll be yeah. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Provisions ran low, your food and provisions ran low. Said sailing but bound for old from this town, your food and provisions ran low. For the love of Miss Gordon, you stayed. For the love of Miss Gordon, you stayed. The rumor sometimes as the truth became known. For the love of Miss Gordon, you stayed. And the houses were plundered by night. The houses were plundered by night. As truth now prevailed for radius sale, the houses were plundered by light. From Sandy Hill came and from Westry the same There waited the master a carrick And how did you sleep at night, gal? did you sleep at night, gal? In London was sent and irons you went For how did you sleep at night, gal? No. And how did you sleep at night, gal? How did you sleep at night, gal? Little knowing the truth of the tall handsome youth The mother's young sons at the and check and a noose on your neck How did you sleep? How did you sleep? Uh, how did you sleep? Uh, how did you sleep at night, cow?
you know this? I think I actually just sang one verse twice by mistake. <laughs> so, Ivan, you're going to get more royalties. <laughs> I'm not sure who this gets in the set because there's no fiddle on it. Uh, but they're fiddle tunes, I suppose. <laughs> uh, it's a couple of tunes that I like. I think Full Scaly actually used to play the first one of these. Any Full Scaly fans here tonight? There's one here anyway. Put the band back together, boys. So it's the real of uh, St. Paul, something French sounding, and then, and then one called Daily Shreel, which I think is American. I think. <laughs>
So if they're ruined on Friday night, I'll tell thee what to do, boy. Just spear a lane on Mansi Spike. Get thou over and visit I see. We'll be there till broad daylight. Maybe we'll get foo, boy. Cause we're gone over on Friday night and I see's gone to brew. To brew, oh, to brew, oh. All I see's gone to brew. To brew, oh, to brew, oh. All I see's gone to brew. You know, when we played that in uh, the Islesburg this afternoon, somebody got us a drink. Just saying. <laughs> Lager tops, cider. Just saying. Okay, we're, we're coming about the end of our bit. I don't know if we've overstayed or understayed, but, uh, but we've been here, that's for sure. Um, I hope you have a great rest of the weekend. Thank you very much to everybody at Muriel for looking after us. Thanks, boys. Good luck in London. Yeah. And uh, cheers to the committee. We'll see you again over the weekend, no doubt. Looking forward to the rest of the night. It's going to be great. Especially if I get a lager tops for coming off the stage. <laughs> right, here's some of Dougie's tunes. And to the... <laughs>
Fabulous as ever, Saltfish 40. If you'd like to carry on listening to them, they've actually got two different albums at the merchandise table to choose from. I would highly, highly recommend them. Uh, we're going to have a quick uh, break now, and uh, you'll probably see we're going to have the raffle sellers coming around. So if you've, if you've missed out on raffles, just give them a wave. They'll be coming around. And we'll be back shortly with the next, next group. Thank you.
Belfast. Um, no pressure, look at that, they're all sweating. <laughs> um, uh, brilliant group, uh, How to Dance.
Thank you. It's great to be here playing at the Ringing Strings concert. A tremendous night so far. And uh, that's, we thought we'd start off with some Shetland tunes there. The first thing, called Doon the Ruth, which is a spinning tune. Folk would, believe it or not, spin yarn to you. I don't do it would be a good, good yield to you in tune now, would you? <laughs> And then we get into one called the Papa Stewart Sword Dance. It's a great tune, and uh, we have our own Papa Stewart Sword Dancer, John Clark, on the bass here. Big hand for John. <laughs> and uh, the last tune there was just a, it was a wild, a bit of a wild rant of a real called the Yaki Drogon for the days of the Greenland whaling. And uh, I, I mean, a few rants going in the lanes, just like they'll be this weekend, I would imagine. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so we're going to play a, a fine, slow it down a pretty bit, a fine bonny tune uh, composed by Jenny Henry. There's no way it's the night she's in Yell. She's going to Yell with a mandolin. But uh, there's a tune that she composed after a trip to Fula. Now this, was it last summer, Grant? Me and it was like we're first outing. We were a bit nervous about going out for this big wild parties and stuff. So me and your aunt were yarn and said, well, we'll maybe go to Fula. Fuck, there will likely be that blit anyway. And Ken says, bad enough if you come in with a cold or the flu or something. <laughs> so we're there at the north end at uh, Rusty, fine old house there, and just sitting, playing two or three tunes, me and Grant. And, and then the fuck just started to arrive. The little den as the night get on, and by about 11 o'clock, there was two boatloads of fair wees that arrived in. Flicked with their vifta mutton, and there was a bit of a kind of rivalry. The next thing came in, there was a full of man with a lot of rest, and uh, somebody came in with a and the place was absolutely stowed. You couldn't have got mere folk in the Piri Croft house. And they were doing the fairways ring dance and the place there was just the race, the rafters we just singing and it was just all pretty overwhelming, but we we had the gaff about it. The, here we are in, in the back of beyond and full of there. And the next morning we made sure we get up to the top of the snug and there's a place there called the Waters of the Snug with special healing properties that can cure anything. I think it it surface not too bad, Grant, anyway. It could have been war. <laughs> So we'll play this bonny tune, which is called 2.33 Rusty Time, because the clock on the wa there is always at 2.33, whatever time of day. And Jenny composed it after one of our full of trips. Oops, getting tangled up in this mic here. It's a bit of a battle, I was getting Ella with them. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. <laughs> now, I think we'll do some introductions here. We've got standing in for Lois Nicola on the fiddle. We've got Ella Robertson on fiddle tonight. <laughs> Big hand for Ella. <laughs> she wish. It's no bad. That's just after the first, first gig. <laughs> And then we've got another introduction now, and this is a, a good friend of ours, and he's going to join us on the fiddle. A big hand for Kevin Henderson. <laughs> ah, good to see you, Kevin. <laughs> Hello. It's great to be finally back in Shetland. It's been a start, <laughs> nearly three years. It's good to get to see my family and friends again. <laughs> yeah. So we've got a couple of new, brand new tunes here, or brand new for the stage anyway. They were written uh, about early, well, April 2020, thereabouts. And uh, the first tune, that's one I made up called, I just caught the pit lane reel. And uh, it was kind of, I suppose, a bit of a reflective time back then, and as far as I mind. So I just came up with the name for the tune the night, and I was being a pretty bit reflective again on folk festivals past it. I was brought up in Pit Lane until I was about 10, and, uh, and uh, we used to go to the folk festival. It was a great fun there, tearing around the Nilesborough. And Mum and Dad, they had a pretty stand on the stairs. We used to have crafts and and knitwear and stuff, and Dad worked with a fiddle marking. And uh, we stayed in Pit Lane, there was a, a pretty workshop in there, so there was eight fiddle players dropping along, and around the festival time then you would get the, a few ones coming along for a tune. And I mean, one night in particular, it was 83, and uh, Wally Hunter and Violet came along with Graham Townsend and his piano player. And I was just a young boy, I used to go to my bike because I had school in the morning, and, Wally Hunter, he said, no, nah, no, nah, boy, you can just bide here. Let the boy bide here. He might never hear a night of fiddle music like this, Kings, for a start. So I thought that was the best. Wally was the best. I got to stay up. So he had fond memories, and the sessions continue in the lane. So at many festivals, I can think of Alan Longmuir's and various lane venues in Hankliff Lane, and then there's ones doing reform lane, and <laughs> lots of parties in the lane. So I think the lane reel was kind of appropriate. And then Kevin's going to tell us about his tune. Yeah, when um, COVID hit and we lost all our uh, gigs, all the musicians were in the same boat, so we all started doing alternative things to try and make some money. And a lot of us was uh, composing tunes, a lot of what was commissioning various folk to write music. And Brian Johnson got in touch with me and asked if I would write a tune with the the 40th Folk Festival in mind. So I wrote this tune and um, he called it The Real Pandemic, and it's a real. <laughs> but um, he's not very precious about the name, so if somebody can come up with a better name, <laughs> you can rename it, or you can even rewrite it, if you want. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Kevin Henderson there with the real pandemic. <laughs> I should say, Kevin's got CDs for sale here. Well, he hopefully does. So does Morris. <laughs> yeah, we, we have Hiltadan's albums, and uh, yeah, we launched that at the right time, end of 2019, and then did no gigs. And uh, Kevin launched us even better, two albums in 2020 and no gigs. So there's loads of CDs there for sale. This a, there really is loads. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I think Kevin Dye album, the tune the young fiddler of the year played, the tune for Lucas is on one of the things. Yeah. It so is I'm indeed. It's on the one by Neil Perman, who's a fantastic piano player from America. Great album. So Isn't that very interesting? It is, yeah. <laughs> and has they got the music books as well? No, I couldn't be bothered to tick them. <laughs> no, I suppose I need room for the drawers and stuff. <laughs> So we're going to play a, a set of Polskas now, and uh, the first thing it's called Yule Lotten. It's a tune uh, we lamp for friends who were in, in Norway, and uh, and also the second Polska is one we lamp for that same for. This one that Kevin played in some sessions around at the folk festival a few years back. We really like it, the tune. Can you mind the name of them? It's called Bas Pelis Eriks Brud Polska. Thank goodness Kevin's here. <laughs> <laughs> Can mind that. So it's a it's a right bony Polska. So we'll get we'll give you this, this set. Feel good tunes. <laughs>
Thanks very much. <laughs>
thanks very much to you all. Big hand for Kevin Henderson here. Fiddle. Ella Robertson, John Clark, Ewan Thompson and Grant Nickel. We've been helped to dance, so we'll see you again. Cheers. Splendid. How to dance. How to dance and Kevin. Superb. More splendid music that. We're going to do this raffle now. Uh, so if you can get some lights so you can see the pretty number on the side. Aye, uh, that would be fine, please. I'm John Pooley. I run a company called Adventure Shetland, which provides guided backstage. tours around the islands. Obviously, there's loads and loads of places that, that we can go to in Shetland, and uh, here's a selection of some of my favourites. We're here at St Ninian's Isle today. It's Europe's largest tombolo, which is a, a sandy beach with the sea on both sides. It's not often you can walk down the middle of the beach and kind of there's waves crashing on, on each side of you. So it's really, truly spectacular. One of my favourite places is, uh, is Herman S. It's a fantastic walk across the hill. It's actually a national nature reserve with fantastic bird life, stunning cliffs, and then, yeah, the view over to, to Muckleflug and the lighthouse and kind of Britain's most northerly point is, is one that's hard to forget. Musa is a small island on the east side of the Shetland mainland. To get up close to it, to stand kind of in the shadow of it really does kind of strike you with a sense of awe. It really is an incredible thing. Fedland is a very rugged uh, kind of landscape. It's very, uh, very high cliffs, very rocky. It was the base for a, a huge, what we call a half fishing operation. There's a, a really kind of unique atmosphere there among the, the ruins of the buildings. There's still this, this feeling that it was a, a really big operation, even though there's there's not an awful lot left nowadays. So Oya isn't the easiest place to get to, but uh, the rewards you get, the scenery that, that awaits you once you get there is, is well worth the effort. And, uh, and the feeling of being the only person for literally miles around is, is like nothing else. It's, it's, a, it's a fantastic place. I feel like Shetland is a, a place that has something for everyone. There's everything here. We've got sandy beaches, we've got fantastic hills to climb, amazing scenery, stunning sunsets. It's, it's fantastic. There's no better place on earth to be, I don't think.
Way Island community in the East End, music is kind of at the heart of any occasion and, and any event. So yeah, it's, it's almost kind of just part of the part of the fabric. All of our families are musicians, so we were brought up with the folk festival. It's quite a big deal for us. Yeah, we were brought up to kind of treat the folk festival weekend like a holiday. It was like a Christmas or New Year. It's been a huge part of our musical upbringing and, and personal upbringing as well. From our first rehearsal, we were really excited to be back together performing. I think people miss socialising and engaging with others and getting together with folks, so the festival is one of the best examples of that. It's probably one of the very few festivals that it takes a group of musicians and takes them to rural country halls. So they're bringing the music to all different aisles throughout Shetland. I think it's a very welcoming community and I think it speaks for itself with just showing how many volunteers are involved with the festival. For me that's probably the most special thing about it all is just seeing people you've not seen for ages and uh, meeting new people and music's a big part of that but it's not just about that, it's about the social connection. It's an important part of the festival is that the visitors that come here is that they get that taste of Shetland hospitality. So there's kind of nowhere better than actually staying in somebody local's home. Growing up, we hosted musicians for several years, and for me, it was very exciting to welcome this musician into your home that you've been listening to their music and CDs and tapes in the car and whatnot, and then next thing they're in your living room. It's quite unique, I think. It is quite nerve-wracking returning because the more you play, the less nervous you get. We have been playing for a long time. And also the fact that you're, you're on the same night as some amazing world-class musicians, so there's a lot to live up to. The lineup is able to punch above its weight for the size of the community because the community supports it so well. When people find a common cause in Shetland, then it can be really powerful what they can do.
We could all do with a change of scenery this year, but not many of us fancy traveling far to find it. So this year, why not travel overseas without leaving your own country? Because there's never been a better time to book a break in spectacular Shetland. We are delighted to have our next act back for our 40th Shetland Folk Festival. 
I have seen these guys twice already this weekend, and so this will be my third time, and it's only Friday. So, they will blow your socks off. They're absolutely brilliant. From Finland, please welcome the fabulous Frigg. Thank you. <laughs> I've, been, I've been working on this a lot. For 13 years I've been working on this. For 13 years. Really, that was the first time we came here, 2009. Yep. And uh, I can honestly say it's wonderful to be back. We're super, super happy to be here. And uh, this is sort of our 20 years anniversary. We had our 20th birthday, year 2020, but then something happened uh, and we haven't been able to celebrate as much as we would have liked to. But now we're on it, big time. <laughs> we started with the march uh, called Jubileum March and we're gonna continue with another tune from our latest album uh, and it's called Early Bird.
んのも分かればいいと思います。
Chiquitos. Thank you. Kiitos. Thank you. We say in Finnish. You can try that. Kiitos. Welcome to Finland anytime. Uh, that was a set of couple of tunes dedicated to very good pubs or restaurants. The other one is in Kaustinen in Finland. Should we dedicate a tune to the spirit of technique? <laughs> yes, well, this other bar, anyway, is in Finland. It's called Restaurant Pelimanni. Pelimanni is the word in Finnish for a folk musician in general. And the other pub is in Glasgow. It's called... No, no weather spoons. <laughs> no. It's the Bon Accord Ale House. Who's been there? Nice place. Uh, the tune is from a uh, fiddler called Chris Stout. Have you heard him? Yes, you should have. Definitely. Uh, we called him to ask, can we play your tune and maybe record it even? And he said, yeah, that's nice. Usually nobody else likes my tunes but my mom. <laughs> I'm sure that's not really true. We shall continue with the tune I wrote uh, many, many years ago. 20 years ago must be, like when I was still studying for a folk music degree at the Sibelius Academy in Helsinki. I know we may look young. Yes, but this was still 20 years ago, and it's called Gaidas Oasis. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's give a big hand to our wonderful technical team. Thank you so much for yeah. Thank you. trip for us we met loads of fantastic musicians and made friends with them uh, you know became friends with them uh, one of the bands we met uh, is called Felipeo they are from Asturias in, in Spain and we sat down a couple of times uh, in the at the club and played some tunes and had some fun and a, a few weeks after the festival we got the message from them uh, asking if we were willing to come to Asturias uh, to play with them and of course we were so we traveled there a couple of times they learned some of our music we learned some of theirs so these tunes come from Asturias and this set is called Seronda
Kitos, thank you so much. We have one more set of tunes to go. Um, thank you for this evening, and uh, we shall continue to festivalize. Shall we not? Yes. And we will thank you all for coming to this concert, for all the artists before also. Great bands always gather at this festival. And it would not have been the same without you. So... Thank you for joining us.
Do you want one more? How much? Do you want one more? Have you got one more? All right, thank you very much. Uh, we will play you some Finnish Polska. Do you know how to dance Finnish Polska? Do you know what? It's International Dancing Day, I, I suppose. Something like that. It really is. So, you should dance. And if you don't know how to dance Polska, you can do just this. It'll be good. But this uh, tune is called Varpunen, the sparrow.
Tokio, oikein hyvää illan jatkoa kaikille. See you around, thank you very much. The fabulous Frank. Well, I think you'll agree we have certainly heard the sound of ringing strings here tonight and what a fantastic wealth and breadth of fiddle tunes there has been. It just remains for us to thank all our wonderful artists tonight. Shetland's Heritage Fiddlers. <laughs> Yelena Anderson, which, who was Shetland's Young Fiddler of the Year 2022. <laughs> Saltfish 40. Haltadans and our own Kevin Henderson and the fabulous Fred. And we'd like to thank Promote Shetland for doing our live stream tonight and taking it to homes all over the world. And thanks to Muriel and the sound crew, to Thomas and Liam and to Jonathan and the Muriel staff for the lovely service tonight and our wonderful raffle sellers and our fabulous ESPL regulatory consulting sponsors. And finally, yourselves for being brave and coming out to support live music happening again. We are unbelievably pleased to be here and it's a total joy. And we hope you enjoy the rest of the festival. Please have a safe trip home and good night from Shetland. <laughs>